everyone, it's Terry Sitford. I'm so excited to share with you my new Courage Movement. Why is courage so important to me and to you? I have found through my own life experiences and working with hundreds of coaching clients that there's one ingredient that most often holds people back from achieving their full potential and higher levels of success in work and in life. For example, my name is Jenny Hardman and I'm a reporter and when my cute friend Terry asked me to talk about courage, the first thing that came to mind was when I quit my job last year um, and I quit not having another job and <laughs> You know, I was trying to figure out what to do because I, my contract was coming up and I worked the morning shift. I had to wake up at 2.45 in the morning, work from 4 in the morning until 9.30, then I'd have a little break and then I'd go to my next job. So I was completely spread thin and physically and mentally I was really wearing down. Um, and I got to the point where I all of a sudden just knew, you know what, this is exactly what I have to do and leaving is going to be the best thing for me. So I remember calling my boss and talking to him in his office and he asked what I was going to do. And I said, I have no idea, and I'm gonna figure it out. Um, luckily enough, of course, word travels fast, and I actually got a call from Fox, and they offered me a daytime shift, which has been incredible because um, sleeping has just helped me mentally and physically, and it, you know, it really took that moment of courage for me to just put both feet in and just go with what my gut was telling me, even though I was so nervous and I didn't have a great savings. Um, but it has been such a good thing. So if you're debating about something, go for it. I mean, what do you have to lose, right? That's what I told myself. But thanks for asking me to do this video, Terry. Love you all. I think that any time that you share things that are vulnerable or you do things that are scary, it is tapping into your courage. But I know that there is great reward when you tap into your courage because you prove to yourself and other people that you can do hard things, that you can do hard things. And so I think that that would be my response into tapping into my own courage is to do something that with the potential of it being amazing, but it'd be so, so, so scary at first. Hi, I'm Jill Orschel and I'm a filmmaker. And when I'm being courageous, I remember that my films make a difference and move people. And I hope you are moved to find your courage. For me, I think uh, exercising courage would be just to write my book. I really want to do it and it's finding the perfect time and it seems to be getting away from me because there's always no perfect time, right? <laughs> so uh, I've got to find the courage to just drive in. And I, I think I'm going to try to do that this coming year. Four years ago this month, I used tremendous amount of courage to go into inpatient rehab, to focus on getting sober because I had a serious alcohol addiction and could not get sober on my own. Coming out of inpatient rehab, I continue to use tremendous courage every day to commit to a life of sobriety. Now, I'm a recovery coach and I help women in early recovery from alcohol use disorder find their courage so that they can commit to a life of sobriety, continue to heal mind, body, and spirit, and move forward to a transformational life where there is no place for alcohol. Courage is what frames our recovery with alcohol use disorder, and it has been an honor to share this with you. Namaste. This is Lonnie Main, and I am contributing to Terry's Courage Movement and just sharing a couple of thoughts and ideas on courage. And as I've been thinking about it, reflecting about courage, to me, it always comes down to the little things that we do day in and day out where we have to have courage. Sometimes it's just waking up in the morning and getting out of bed to uh, face the day that's ahead of us. And sometimes it's big and major decisions. And over the years, I've really 
you know, thought about how is it that we make these decisions. One way I've been courageous is when I dropped out of college. Uh, it's not an easy decision to make, uh, especially when you have parents that are very proud of you and they want you to do well and succeed in your life. And there's a stigma about not going to college. And so it was a decision that I knew was right for myself, but it was, it was a very hard thing to do. Um, but it allowed me to travel the world. After I dropped out of college, I traveled the world for six months and kind of understood who I was a little bit more and kind of got some confidence to explore other aspects of education. And uh, my life turned out really well because of it. So I'm very proud of that and took a lot of courage. Courage is the ability to have the strength in the face of pain and grief. I show courage daily by showing up for myself, showing up for others, and honoring Sam's legacy. I do this by providing education, tools, and scholarships for young kids, and by helping them have a stronger sense of character and sense of self. I show courage by being of service to others. I hope you do the same. My courage led me to start my own business. This gave me the freedom to travel and live internationally. I was given an opportunity to try something completely new. With the encouragement of my brother and with the support of my family, I decided to set up, set up a, uh, set on a whole new journey. This journey uh, is with building my own business in a community-based network marketing company. An amazing product which has totally changed my life, both from a physical and a mental point of view. But what it's done, it's taken me out of my comfort zone. I am putting myself out there. I've always been somebody that's worried about what other people think of me, what other people would say, how people would judge me. And I am now finding that I am um, worrying less and finding that courage and that strength to do what I feel is right, to do what makes me feel good. I'm helping others. I've been using courage. I actually started a new job in the middle of quarantine. So I onboarded completely remotely. I haven't been to the office yet or met anyone in person, which should be scary, but um, has honestly been really exciting and really rewarding. And uh, I'm really happy with it. So good things for courage. Hi, my name is Skylar Jackenthal, and I show courage by showing up for myself and saying no to things that don't personally benefit me. Courage has given me the confidence to move to San Francisco, learn how to code, get a job as a software engineer, with no education and no prior experience. Without courage, I couldn't have done anything. Believe in yourself. On March 12, 2020, I was informed by my board of directors that the very next morning I was being made CEO of my company overnight. This is exactly the last day that everyone in my company was in the office due to the COVID crisis. So I became CEO with uh, 24 hours notice just as we went completely remote. Um, this was quite a surprise and also filled with opportunities as well as many, many challenges. Um, it really took courage and which included hiring a business coach and really leveraging all of the resources around me to support me in all ways um, to navigate these, this um, you know, really challenging and tumultuous time period. So find out what's holding you back and how courage can push you past those obstacles so you can achieve the life and the work that you dream of.